Hi guys, um, uh, this is uh, a video about release 1.2 on the Zapper Box. Uh, we haven't done a video for a long time because really we've been adding core functionality and uh, there has not been much to show in the user interface. But uh, there are a few subtle things. Uh, 1.2 is a big release. We added a pause play for um, for ATSC 3.0. I'm making this video in San Diego, so there's not much to show for ATSC 3.0. There's no broadcast here. But um, we added an important feature to get us ready for DVR, and that is that we added this storage tab, and you can now go and you can format your SD microcard. So the next release will be version 1.2.1 that will allow you to format hard drives also. So that's important, but we added this format button. I'll cancel out of it. You can also um, remove, sorry, you can also remove uh, the drive safely. Uh, you don't have to do it. You can pop it out, but if you're making a recording, this will, um, use the eject command which is built into android and let you erase uh, let you remove the drive safely so uh, these are the two the next release will add support for uh, formatting hard drives that release is coming out in about two weeks which is i believe uh, may 15th it's on the website uh, i'm making this video on um, april 30th so I think it's coming out on Monday in two weeks from today. Um, and then we added um, under this zap button, the quick menu. Uh, this used to bother me a lot. If you go into hide show and you get all these channels and you have to now hide each one individually. But usually what happens is either a uh, entire RF channel is on, uh, is in a language I want to hide or is weak and I want to hide the entire. So what I can do is I can hide everything. I can do hide all and they all get hidden. So that is an improvement. Um, I can do show all and it'll show all the channels. Uh, it wasn't too clear because I had captions on. So let me turn captions off and now go and go here and I can say hide all, everything gets hidden, show all. So that's a quick way to hide. And then we went to antenna setup and we added this option to show the minor channel number. And that's another small irritant I had. I was in uh, antenna setup and I would always have to press info, uh, info button. Okay. Oh, I'm in, uh, I need to get out of that menu. So I would have to do this, press two buttons to see what minor channel number I'm on. And now that minor channel number is just shown right here. So that's uh, those are the features uh, in uh, version 1.2. Uh, we've also made a lot of improvements in ATSC3 um, viewing, uh, which may not be apparent, but to some customers in certain kinds of situations, uh, it's a big improvement. So version 1.2 is out. It's got these three features. Uh, I'll review them again. Number one, you can see the minor, cha minor channel number in setup. Uh, you can um, uh, hide or show all the minor channels on a frequency at the same time. And then finally, you can go into settings and we added the storage option so you can format your micro SD card and then version 1.2.1 coming out in two weeks you'll be able to format hard drives and USB drives and use those for pause play and 1.2.2 will come out um, 
that'll add 14 day guide data. One, two, three will add integrating these subscriptions so you can go to the website and yourself subscribe to the guide data and DVR. And then one, three will add full DVR. So that's kind of the roadmap. I'll make another video to show that. Uh, but I just wanted to share this progress. Um, uh, we have not put out a video in a long time. We've been hard at work. And the other good news is that support for encryption is coming along well. It is working in Tampa. And we are trying to now come up with a date uh, that we can announce uh, for supporting um, encryption. By the way, encryption is called content security by the industry. And uh, we're going to come up with the date soon. But I think it'll be around the same time as DVR. So we're really excited about that. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. And um, we love all the support we're getting from our customer base. Thanks. Goodbye.